but I know I could put on a good show by myself. Three, we good? Two, Wait, we're live? One, you said I'm hot? I had no idea I was live. Um, wait, we're going? Wait, right now? <laughs> You're not live? So I'm talking to myself right now. And everyone in chat thinks I'm talking to myself. Damn. What's up, dudes? How's it going? <laughs> How's it going, guys? Um, we don't really got any commentators here today. Uh, they might come through later on, but we don't know. But till then, I will be holding down the fort. Is this on two? Okay. It's not that one's not hot. He says. Okay. But you're not you're not live either, so they can't hear you. Okay. But so I'm still just talking to myself. John Numbers versus Jen. Fox versus Inkling. Winners quarters. Who did John beat to get here? I, I I literally not even looked at the bracket at all. I think he beat Mr. E actually. He beat Mr. E. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. He was bragging about that. I forgot. He was outside just like I finally beat Mr. E. So here he is sitting. Winners quarters to fight fight off against Jen. Jen, one of the classic, uh, one of the early early adopters of winning at Zeno and Ultimate. Yes. I may do say so myself. Uh, besides uh, Venia and Sinji and Nick C, I think he was like one of the one of the ones up there that yeah. hasn't won one in a bit since the reign of terror from Nick C has started. But he's definitely beaten John Numbers in the past. John did get a level up, though, from last weekend, you know, entering PAX East, that tournament with items in uh, Squad Strike, where I still had to witness We Fit Trainer versus Pac-Man yet another time. I can't escape. OK, enough about that, though. So that, that was interesting. I like how John Numbers just came on with the splatter shot and immediately spawning in just to put all that uh, damage down. Damage up for himself. Defense down for Fox. Really smart stuff. But you see Jen going for some up tilt action, trying to apply a lot of pressure to them. He tries to go for like an out shield option like roll. Managed not catch it. Jen's been playing a lot of Fox lately as well. I know he's typically a Palutena main, but he's been playing Fox a lot at Xenon. I don't know if he's just trying to practice the secondary. The way to learn a secondary is to force yourself to use the character in uncomfortable situations in tournaments, you know? So that might be the strategy he's going for. And just catch that up smash right there. I like that empty hop coming out from Jen. Just trying to see what John's reaction would be. It looks like Numbers just wants to on the shield instead. There we go, a bunch of up airs coming out. Bates out the air dodge. Good DI from John. He saw him drift incredibly far back to avoid that follow up from Jen. And because playing the character Inkling, having one of the best recoveries in the game, able to go drift off as far as she possibly wants. What was that exchange? We saw uh, a clank? From a okay. I literally did, I, I, I didn't know that was gonna work, but then I remembered that Fox can do that, and Jen went for it and he got it. He actually put him into enough hit zone with that forward air that John was not able to recover. Watch it again here, slow-mo right here. Brown. The little tap, he was in hit stun until he hit the blast zone. So he was not able to mash up B out of that situation. That was actually OD. But that was smart as hell. Uh, numbers did not beat E, because Dill is uh, scheduled to beat him up. Well, scheduled oh, who did to he beat him. I don't know. I'll check later. You lied to me. I, I yeah. trusted you. We both heard the same conversation from yeah. Numbers. And just numbers assumed. definitely talked about how he beat E. I don't know if that was at a different tournament. This thing's not on. What? It's, it's upside down. We transfer. Twitch developers, the game dev playbook. Oh, look at that email. Three, two, I'm hearing your emails. One, go. Listen, I'm an old man. I don't know how to do technology. <laughs> well, Devin fixes that out. We're going to go back to PS2 for game number two. Um, John just wants to get that young run back. Again, good combos coming out from Jen. Getting that all started off of just a simple down air. And it still goes. Didn't get the follow up right there on the air dodge. Was it hoping for John to air dodge to the right? Or to possibly get that. Uh, Follow up. And John's gonna chill right there. Try to get that two frame with a down smash. Pretty difficult to get it on Inkling. Because of how quick she goes up from after uh, inputting super jump. There we go. Up air cha chains. Good use of the stall from the shine from Jen. Just kind of make himself float up a bit to mix up the timing of John's follow ups. Let the double jump out of the situation. Just gonna hold shield in front of each other. Knocks him off stage. We got some more down tilt action coming out from John again, trying to either catch the side B on the on the ledge, or just trying to like catch him if he went for like a ledge get up attack. John there we go. King Arc. He beat King Ark. Okay, so yeah. he did beat someone. Alright, cool. 
Got that parry coming out, no punish coming out afterwards. As uh, the meta starts to evolve more and more, we're starting to discover that parries don't give you like the biggest benefit in some situations. Sometimes you just take the parry and you just reset back to neutral. There we go, numbers. Gets the kill. Three stocks to two, John has a lead. Literally just one sour spot near into up smash away from dying. Or just raw up smash. Which is what Jen seems to be on the uh, lookout for. There he goes, got the punish again. We see John opting to go for air dodge a lot whenever he finds himself in a pressured situation mid-air. Air dodging down to the ground as fast as he can, and Jen starting to capitalize on that. Time to mix up, ate the double jump, gets the down tilt, recognizing he immediately wanted to go for the ledge. A lot of characters, when they run out of the resources like that, tend to like want to get to the stage or ledge as fast as possible, which is why Jen wanted to capitalize. But Inkling does have the ability to go back off and just go for the up B. Good offstage pressure coming out from John. Well, not disallowing Jen from reaching back onto home base. There we go. Clean up airs coming out from numbers. A little, a little gift left around by Junkrat. That was smart from John. He actually held down so he would not grab onto the ledge. Land down on the stage right on top of Jen in order to just kind of mix him up, push him away, and get him back to the stage. And I actually pushed Jen off stage. Jen's starting to reach some dangerous percents here. 91 on his final stock. But he just took one. All he needed was just one side B into an up air conversion, 91%. The thing is, numbers have been going for a roller a couple of times. Jen has yet to get grounded from that. It's a move that he's clearly aware of. So instead, numbers trying to go for some reasons instead. Go for the forward smash, hoping the air dodge was going to lead right in front of him. The triple back air to push him off stage. A lot of pressure coming out. Again, neutral air, just a, like a long-lasting move. Keep numbers on his toes, applying tons of pressure with the up airs on that platform. Off stage, grenade. Opt in, recover high with the side B. Nice catch with the up air from John. Taking away game number two from Jen. Honestly, that was a little bit of a turnaround from game number one. Jen having the entire lead. Game number one takes the win. This time we had John, you know, just taking away the first. It's whoever takes that first stock. You know, taking it home. We're going back to Pokemon Stadium 2. This is, honestly, this is just a comfort pick at this point. A lot of players just feel that PS2 is like one of the most, quote, neutral, unquote, stages, which is why you'll see a lot of players not just at Xeno, but at other tournaments and like majors as well, go back to the stage so often because it has a good layout. Obviously, certain characters thrive greatly off of it, which you should probably ban against, aka like someone the likes of Palutena, but depending on the situation. Okay, great punish coming out from John, forcing out the Hail Mary forward smash from Jen. And at this point, they're both playing incredibly safe, going for uh, non-laggy moves in order to apply shield pressure against their foes, spacing them out so they can't get punished. Not getting too much reward off of them so far. Jen's already at 195. You just needed that one opening, get that one punish. Again, every single time after that second up air, John always goes for the air dodge. And I think Jen is trying to condition that out for later on in the set. Okay, good call out with that forward smash. Just immediately thrusting his entire body into that uh, ledge get up. A lot of players have still not adapted to the uh, side B going through the character and trying to get the punish of the, side, uh, the Fox Illusion later on. But John has been shown time and again this set that if he just holds shield in front of him and get an easy punish. Afford it. Oh no! Jen going with a uh, self-destruct that early. Probably going to cost him the set. John has three stocks. John has two stocks left on in this set. But this is Smash Ultimate. You can bring it back, especially as Fox McCloud. He has tons of ways to rack up damage as fast as possible. And if Jen just plays his cards right, he could potentially bring it. Hopefully he doesn't let the momentum slip away. And we get this out. Again, another air dodge. Jen not going for it. He could just be waiting. Letting it cook. Okay, just Fox Illusions immediately onto the stage instead of going for the ledge. That was good on Jen's part. He didn't go for the tech. Again, you'll notice that Jen's not teching there because that's what John's looking for. John wants him to tech because if he does, he gets immediately grounded by the roller. Doesn't even hit it though. Gets caught by the up smash anti-air. I would say this is an upset, honestly. John Numbers <laughs> taking out Jen and moving on to winner's semis. What? Is this 2015? 
Nintendo World Champion 2015 coming back and getting into winter semis at a Xeno, at my Xeno? Top five? I'm not having it. What's going on, guys?